Brazil's kind of hot. So is Britney Spears. I'm a little malarkey. Come on. Come on, dude. You can't finish a sentence. What he's actually making a reference to is the Taylor Swift concert where someone died. He doesn't know. He doesn't know Like if it's Britney Spears or Taylor Swift. He doesn't know if it's Brazil or Argentina. He doesn't know if it's Tuesday or Wednesday, man. I am representing here the American Society of Indian American Engineers, and I've been a U.S. citizen for 30 years. I'm, I'm being treated like a foreigner. I'm not a foreigner. I'm an American. I came here, you know, many years ago, of course, with $6 in my pocket. Really, $6. At that time, it was a lot of money, you know? <laughs> no, it wasn't, Indian Oliver Stone. No, it wasn't. Every immigrant uncle has some insane story about how they came to America with an inexplicably small amount of money. I came here with two bucks. No, I came here with four bucks. Six dollars is and never was a lot of money. <laughs> Who goes to any country and is like, hmm, six dollars? That seems like enough to start a new life. But you know, maybe Dr. Kathari was right. Maybe it was a lot of money back then. Hey, how much was... Dude, every every grandpa or uncle has this story. This is the identical story to my grandfather, by the way. With additional, uh, with, with additional seasoning uh, on top of it. Came here with no money in his pocket, okay? And he couldn't speak a lick of English. And he had someone who speaks English right, uh, New York, on a piece of paper that he brought with him. And he would just show it to people until they pointed him in the direction of uh, New York. Which didn't work. He landed in New Jersey, which is, you know... I'm not going to get into that. That part sucks, okay? When someone asks you, where are you from? What do you say? Turkey. Um, easy. Because you know in your heart you want to rep New Jersey? No, I do not. And I will never rep New Jersey. And I'm not from New Jersey. I was born in New Brunswick, New Jersey. And uh, my parents wanted to do that so that I would have an American citizenship. So that one day I could be the president. Shut the f*** up, okay? Yes, I have occupied some time and space within the borders of New Jersey, okay? But that does not mean I am from New Jersey, dude. You guys are so stupid. You were a refugee in New Jersey, just say that? Yes, that's true. I was, I was a refugee. I was a Jersey refugee. And I realized, you know, there are worse things on the planet. Like, Ukrainians. I know I talk about how, like, you know, we should open up our borders to the Ukrainians and bring in as many as possible. Not to New Jersey. It's literally better to be in Maria Paul right now than to live in New Jersey for any extended period of time, okay? Straight up. Do not go to Jersey. I promise you, you will not enjoy it. You actually said Hoboken, no joke, and a week ago, I never said that. Shut the f up. I'm gonna start banning people. Forever be from New Jersey, broke boy. Once you say dead ass, there's no coming back from that. Oh, f <sighs> Imagine, out of all the f places in America you're going to, you land in goddamn New Jersey. What is this? Where did this come Wait, from? Wait, it says you were born in New Jersey? That's slander. No, that's real. You were born in New Jersey? No, that is real. I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> what a f***ing idiot. <laughs> what the f***? Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. I come to talk with you again. What the f***? worse at least it wasn't like louisiana holy shit my heart goes out to all the immigrant uh first generation second generation immigrant children that had to that were born in like wisconsin or some shit because like that's what their that's what their parents thought was like the fire place to be in okay it's not the absolute worst but it's still pretty bad like new york is right there a town in New Jersey became heaven for Italians everywhere just last week when a massive pile of uncooked pasta was mysteriously discovered in the woods. You can see mounds of spaghetti, elbow macaroni, and ziti strewn about the vegetation in the park. Mysterious. Mm, Mysterious. We would estimate several hundred pounds of uncooked pasta that was removed from the packaging and then dumped along the creek. It looks like it was only there for a short time, but moisture did start to soften some of the pasta. As for who dumped the pasta, mm -hmm. apparently a pasta collector of sorts, which let's do a wellness check and make sure this dude's okay. All right. I, I lived right next to this town growing up uh, in New Jersey, and I love New Jersey, and I'm proud of it, and I defend it. 
But this story unfortunately does uh, tie two things we're well known for, Italians and garbage. Um, and it's true that in my hometown, we did have a basketball court uh, built on top of a garbage dump. Okay, but other parts of Jersey are gorgeous, okay? And those are nice looking woods, just to be fair to us. Uh, but it, like, if growing up in Jersey, if I saw like these giant mounds of spaghetti in the woods, I'm not sure I would have been overly surprised, okay? so. Again, this is like a third stereotype of New Jersey where you go, ah, bada bing, we leave it in the woods, it'll be fine, right? So, could have been worse, could have been Philadelphia, that's true. A man from Pennsylvania, biggest L of all time, <laughs> is letting a mother who grew up in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia in particular, to run your country, okay? It's like just unimaginable, okay? This is a big, this is the worst L for Pennsylvania in a sequence of L's, okay? Biggest L for Philadelphia since, biggest L for Philadelphia since that Eagles fan ate horse manure, okay? Oh, well, no, it's not, it's not a genocide. I mean, I mean, yeah, we marched them, and yeah, we moved a million people, and we did ethnic cleansing, and we and we did the war crimes, and, and we dropped uh, bombs onto buildings. We're not, we know Hamas is in the tunnels, and the tunnels are completely uninfected, and we killed 11,000, 12,000 civilians, over 5,000 children. But no, you can't call it a genocide. No, it's like literally the definition of a genocide. Yeah. Six dollars is and never was a lot of money. <laughs> to any country and he's like, hmm, six dollars. That seems like enough to start a new life. But you know, maybe Dr. Kathari was right. Maybe it was a lot of money back then. Oh, 1588. That's a three entree meal at Panda Express. Also, are you sure about six bucks? Because I'm hearing conflicting reports. I came here many years ago <laughs> with eight dollars in my pocket. <laughs> oh, so it's eight dollars now, okay. Now, don't laugh at Dr. Kathari, because he is the only one fighting for the real issues in the Asian community. National spelling bees do occur, you know, and the Asian Americans have been like the top. But when media or Hollywood made a movie about the spelling bee called Akila the Bee, How you figure it, it out was obviously. not about Indian, uh, Indian, um, Asian Americans. It was about somebody else. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Kila the Bee, not about an Indian kid. Why are they blackwashing Asian movies? First of all, it's called Akila and the Bee, not Akila the Bee. He's making it sound like there's a bumblebee named Akila. You know, Akila the Bee, Lady the Tramp, Nemo the Fish. Now make no mistake. That's, t that's also typical though, that's typical. Another thing is uh, putting an S in the wrong places when you're uh, referencing brand names and and also taking out an S from uh, places that uh, that there should be a, a, an S like Coca Colas. I mean, even I do it sometimes. To be fair, like Crogers. No, at the end, yeah. Let's go to Applebee. Wait, Crogers has an S though, right? Dunkin's Donut every f time. Even I do that. Crogers does have an S at the end of it. Okay, okay, you guys are debating me. Let me look it up. You. Oh my god, it does not have an S at the end of it. Okay, okay. Listen, like I said, you can be fluent, okay? You can be fluent in English and still have a hard time with the S's. That's normal. I'm so hungry. Take me to Arby. Now I'm going to go pee. You can talk to the chat while I do that. All right. Sounds good. Okay. So when he, whenever he does this, I plug my stuff. So uh, <laughs> running for president. Look, I appreciate all you guys out there. You know, I've got over 6,600 donors, man. That, the, the faith they've shown in me is unbelievable. If you guys want to, uh, at a minimum, as a protest against Biden being foisted upon us when he's 81 years old, obviously going to lose, massively down on the polls, total egomaniac, doesn't even want to run, can't finish a sentence. I had to work hard to show patience and be willing to travel over a thousand miles. You could say even this harder than getting a, a ticket to the Renaissance tour or or, or Br 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 Br
Yo, that's my president. Never mind, I'm back on. He's so sick. Jesus Christ. No, man. no one, no, no demented presidents have ever been awful for America in the past, you know? I mean, if he thinks democracy's on the line, he's gonna go run going, eh, kind of like me. Brazil's kind of hot. So is Britney Spears. <laughs> I'm a little malarkey. Come on, come on, dude. You can't finish a sentence. You egomaniac. You, you know what's really funny? He says, get out of the of, race. He says, it's kind of warm in Brazil right now. And what he's actually making a reference to is the Taylor Swift concert where someone died. Yeah, exactly. Of a fucking heat stroke. And you're not so, supposed to make fun of that. That's not a joke. But he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Like, if it's Britney Spears or Taylor Swift, he doesn't know if it's Brazil or Argentina. He doesn't know if it's Tuesday or Wednesday, man. Uh, even if it's like a dollar in a protest, uh, go to jankforamerica.com or Biden's gonna lose.com uh, and, and, and chip in. Six dollars. At that time, it was a lot of money. You know? <laughs> By the way, I bought uh, BidenIsGoingToLose.com. I bought SelfishJoeBiden.com. Because my name's hard to spell, right? You know, although you guys all know it. But uh, So I bought all those other things so that you could uh, be clear. And You have not stopped promoting. Holy shit. That's, that's how I do. Look, I even bought WoundedAntelope.com. This guy's <laughs> a wounded antelope. He's, <laughs> he's not... Everybody knows this, but nobody will say it. So my job is to scream it from the rooftops until people go, Oh, yeah! Wounded Antelope. They're not interested com. In it. Yeah, woundedantelope.com. It's not. Oh my God, it is real. <laughs> woundedantelope.com goes to jankforamerica.com. Or, or Brit Britney's tour. She's down in, it's kind of warm in Brazil right now.